It's show time. For over 28 years, you have let precision planting. Oh! I've had it! Hello, everyone. We are headed to the Precision Planting Conference here in Dothan, Alabama. So we got Jeff, Keithy, Dad, Teaspoons helping out a buddy. So he's not with us, but uh, tag along. Hopefully we'll learn some things that will help us improve our yield when we plant. And let's go check it out. Dad, what was your first planter you ever had? My first planter was a 71 full row planter, John Deere. Okay. All the nice truck, high country 2500. Ugh, I don't know what that is. Hilarious. Never heard of that. Never heard of it. There you go. 350 Nissan Lexus Infinity. I think the VIP parking is up here. Your diamond people. Right. right there. Look at boom. Right there. Bam. Right there. <laughs> All right, we just got here. We we're walking to the entrance of the Double Tree Hotel, which used to be a Holiday Inn Express. And it wasn't a Holiday Inn Express long. I don't know why they changed, but let's check it out. Good, do you know what Do you want to be on the YouTube video? So, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get you some treats? I'm thinking about it. I don't know what I want. I bet you those got jelly. Oh yeah, they're jelly filled. Yeah, I don't want the jelly filled. What you got there, Jeff? Uh, donut and bear claw, I guess, huh? It's show time. For over 28 years, you have let precision planting come alongside you to focus on the little things that make a big impact in yield. From emergence to seed placement, and back again. My name is Justin Sullivan. I'm the regional manager for the Delta area. We also do have a team of dealers here and I do want to uh, introduce those to you guys. Uh, we have Vantage South, we have Vantage Southeast, and we have guys from Tidewater Ave. If you guys would just please stand up so everybody does know who you are. You do it, so. <laughs> and then we have Jim McArthur. I don't know if you guys have seen him on TikTok. Uh, I didn't have a TikTok until I even some uh, co-workers started sending me videos that he his his twin brother randy makes right yes, yes. so it's not me uh, yeah, right so uh if you guys want to come up and talk to him please do so in addition reclaim will be compatible with almost every sprayer that's been built in the last 25 years both the pull types as well as the self-propelled it'll be compatible with electric nozzles as well as mechanical nozzles and the best part the best part is that the only technology that you add to the cab of your sprayer is one single rocker switch. With the Vision module, we are bringing the power of the 2020 into the sprayer cab. Today, in this session and across the breakout sessions, we will be talking about a number of projects that we have been working on over the last number of years that will bring information Two All right, we just got out of the first rounds of presentations. Dad, what did you learn? Precision. Precision. Right. <laughs> How to maximize your yield. We're about to go eat lunch. Keithy and Jeff, what have y'all learned so far? Are you acting like you don't know me? <laughs> well, I've learned all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I mean, okay, good. Yeah. lunch is over it was delicious now we're headed back in right so last year this time you could buy that bay of fertilizer for eighteen thousand dollars and this year it's 40. 
All right, well, it is over and everything went well. I learned a lot, and I'm talking with Justin with Precision Planning, and he's going to give us a rundown of uh, what Precision Planning is all about and about all the latest, greatest technology. So, Justin, take it away, buddy. Yeah, thank you, man. We, we had a good day here today at uh, Precision Planning's Winter Conference 2022. So, today, we went over things like planner maintenance, some of the necessities we need to check on every year, like parallel arms, gauge wheel arms, opening discs, closing system alignments, things like that. And then we we're also able to go over some of our new products, like the vision system, the artificial intelligence that uh, our engineers at Precision Planning have been able to, to come out with. Uh, products like row-by-row -row nozzle control, or nozzle-by-nozzle -nozzle, nozzle control. Um, and how we can use those in parallel with each other to get our spraying done better. How we can use the vision cameras to get uh, stand counts and weed emer or weed pressure maps and things like that. But like I said, we really still want to focus on the planner and right. how can we get your stand to be better, right? How can we get your farm and just improve on your farm on every acre of that farm? So we've got behind Justin here a. Uh, planter off a of John Deere planter row unit. Uh, let's talk about some of the things you got on here. Yeah, so this one's got our hydraulic down pressure system. This is called Delta Force. Mm -hmm. So the way it works is we have a load pin here that's reading gauge wheel weight. And so that load pin will see send readings to, to our system and our hydraulic down pressure system will either lift or put down pressure according to what this load pin tells us we need. And all from the cab. You all to get out of the yep, tractor. It's all automatic. Nice. So, so the user will just input a number that he sees as how he wants his uh, fur to look. Mm -hmm. And then this Delta Force system will actually keep that the same throughout the field and consistent throughout the field. What about this guy? What's, yeah. what's he doing? Yeah, so Smart Depth. This is a, a relatively new offering from Precision Planning. And the way it works is we just removed the T-handle that controls our depth. Yep. And we put this motor on. So one of the really neat things, one of the possibly the most valuable things is that it eliminates rotor row variability. Mm -hmm. So we can do what we call a block check where we put four by fours underneath the gauge wheels. Right. And then that will give us a known depth and we can uh, zero out our, our depth stops because things like mustaches and gauge wheel arm wear that's right will vary depth from row to row so like on our planter we saw a quarter of an inch difference mm -hmm. in planting cotton that's a big deal where i'm from oh for sure so. yeah because cotton especially if you get it too deep it's not going to come up and if you get it way too shallow it's not that's come right up. but that's especially right. too deep so One each of the row would have this so each row could be a different depth depending on yeah, the soil type. That's right. So we could add smart firmers, which mm -hmm. can measure uh, the moisture that's available to the seed. Right. So we can add those and, and you may want a, a right wing to be just a little bit shallower because it's a little different uh, soil yep. zone or whatever point. it may be. One of the neat things is we can also manually adjust it from the cab. Mm -hmm. So I know on our farm, we were a little unsure of how smart farmers were going to read the first year in cotton. Mm -hmm. So we just knew that, hey, in this cloddy spot in the field, we needed to be a little bit deeper mm -hmm. versus the sandy spot in the field. So our operator was able to manually adjust the depth uh, based on those spots that he visually saw in the field. Right. So. Don't have to get out of the cab. No getting out of the cab. No more messing with the man. T handle. It was nice. Man, that's crazy. The technology nice. is getting wild. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Let me ask you a hard hitting question. Out yeah. of all the technology, and you've got all, you know, it's, it's farming is going to be wild in 20 to 30 years. Mm -hmm. Where do you think the future is going to be? Is it going to be in the the spray technology with the vision? Is it going to go more toward cameras? What do you think? Yeah, man, that's a good question. You know, uh, it was really exciting being able to unveil the, the vision technology this oh, yeah. week. Um, I've, I've been wondering where artificial intelligence is going in the mm -hmm. form and how is it going to be useful. So being able to see some of that information is really nice. Um, but I really think it all starts with the planner. You yeah. Know? Well, that's the uh, most important that, thing. You, you've got to start right. out you, planning. You set, you set your, your yield potential. You know, it's right. highest yield potential still in the bag, right? That's so right. as soon as you put it in this hopper, we're losing yield potential. Mm -hmm. So we've got to set it with the planner. Yeah. Cool. And all of this computes to this, correct? That's right. And the beauty of this is 
you don't have to have a brand new planter, brand new tractor. Like we have a John Deere 1720 2012. Yep. We could outfit that planter with all this technology. That's right. Yep. This yep. is actually our Gen 3 monitor here. Mm -hmm. And so you can see some of the data layers it gives you. And then uh, like we released this week, the beauty of this is we can not only uh, use it to monitor our planter, mm -hmm. but our combine yield monitor, and now it's in, put it in a sprayer. So, but you can see things like population and singulation, those load cell readings there mm -hmm. with downforce. Uh, and then we've got some smart firmer readings here. So this is the available moisture to the seed, the soil temperature. No way. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty neat stuff. And then oh, we're, yeah. we're building a map of visualization of what's going on as we're going through the field. Cool. All right, we're looking at the furrow. Furrow? Furrow. I struggled. Furrow. furrow. I'll just let you say it. What are we looking at right here? Yeah, so this is a uh, precision planting, what we call gray row unit, right? Mm -hmm. And But we have our closing system on it called furrow force. Uh, it's a two-stage closing system. You can see how these... Uh, blades here are cambered mm -hmm. so that they're closing the trench from the bottom up and they're actually lifting and fracturing that trench mm -hmm. as it's closing. And then we have these uh, what we call second stage wheels that are able to kind of pack the top down a little bit and give us a mellow path to the surface. Uh, we also have the ability to add a load sensor so then it's reading how much pressure on these wheels. Right. And from there we can then add an automatic control module that could add down pressure in this bag and keep these wheels on the ground, which keeps these in the ground. Um, if you didn't want to go this route, we also have a manual controller in the cab mm -hmm. and it just changes the amount of air pressure in the bag. Awesome. I guess that's gonna be it, but Justin, one other question. Do we know where the dinosaurs are that hatched out of those dinosaur eggs? I do want to find that out. Yes. I'll let you I'll let you find them and then you can tell me where they okay. are. Okay. Well good deal. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, Justin. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. Y'all ready to roll? Been waiting on you. Been ready. All right. Let's head that way. You got, you got your, your goodies? We gotta get our corn. Got them. Yep. Got them. Y'all can just take that to our truck and put it in the back of it. Try it out. We won't even have to haul it home. Do what? We won't even have to haul it home. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye, man. You'll be good. Woo! It is freezing. It's mist and rain. I think it's about 34 degrees. It's not snowing, so that's that's unfortunate. It never snows here. But anyway, we're gonna head back to Florida. You already got my seat heater on? Yeah. It's nice of you. We are on the way home. We've got about 20 minutes and we should be home. But dad, if you could pick any product that precision planning offers, what do you think you would go with? That precision depth. The smart depth? Smart depth. Yep, oh yeah. That way you just get a regulation depth for you. Yep, so each row would have it. Just right. If, Perfect. say, your number 10 hopper was putting a little bit too deep, you could adjust that from the cab. Right. Or it might do it automatically, I don't know. Right, but, yeah, uh, either way would be great. Keithy, what would you choose? What would me and Jeff choose? Yeah. Our precision plant corn slinging buckets. Those are nice. <laughs> yes. Hold about what? 20 pounds of corn, you think? Maybe, maybe 25. Yep. Now, I like the, uh, for the sprayer, I wouldn't mind getting one of those uh, reclaim systems. Yep. For purging the booms out. That was pretty cool. Pretty simple. Yep. Very simple. Very uh, um, environmental friendly. Yep. No longer just. Shh. Shh. What about the camera system? That was pretty awesome. The camera the system is extremely awesome. Yes. Man, you could mix up a 60 gallon tank and instead of broadcast spraying, it would only spray the weeds. You yep. could probably get 300 acres out of a tank. And what's crazy, how does it know the difference from a small cotton plant versus a small morning glory? But the, somehow the software, it knows. The software in the computer is programmed to recognize the leaf structure. Uh -oh. The leaf structure of different plants. Yep. So it recognizes a corn plant, cotton plant, Mm -hmm. Anything that's green that doesn't match that structure is weak. It's not spraying it. Or it is spraying it. Yeah. Jeff, what would you choose? Uh, the 2020 Seed Sense Monitor. That was that was pretty nice. Yes. Uh, All in one. Yeah, it does everything. It tells you exactly what you're putting out. You ain't got to guess at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, not on that. It tells you the soil temperature, all kind of other information. So, I mean, and I also like, oh, I like that on. Um, deal they had for the uh, nitrogen applicator like for your pop-up and stuff yeah it yep. monitors the flow and you can adjust what is that the furrow jet 
yeah, you, it monitors the flow and you can adjust, it'll adjust each row for to what you have you, it set for. Yep. Instead of having to guess and look at a red ball system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that was cool. Yeah. All right, Dad. All right. You know, I like to ask you some questions. All right. You started Wait. farming in 1974. Yes. Uh, obviously, you didn't have any of this technology then. No, you just had a planter. You... So back in the old days, how did you know you were planting? Did you have a monitor, or would you just get back there and dig behind you and say, okay, we're planting. There's seeds in the dirt. Yeah, you, you, it was everything. You didn't have no kind of monitors or no nothing. You want to check something, you had to stop, get off, and check it. Get out. Just it, and do what you're going to do and go on. Did you ever have a a, a time when you were planting and say you planted for five acres and then realized that, oh, snap, a chain fell off three acres ago? Well, you have a skip row about on a couple of peanuts planting about a, yeah. maybe a, maybe a ram. You'd look back there and your hopper would be, one would be more, you stop. What was the first seed monitor you remember having? 91. 91? Mm hmm And that's probably the same one we've got now. Well, not the same planter, but the same same setup we had then when I got The it. big, like, brown box with six lights? Yep, the vacuum, the vacuum yep. planters. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Any other questions? No? We're good? We're good. We're good? We're good. Kind of upset Randy didn't come today. That was... He didn't didn't wake up, so... He promoted it? He, he, he pr promoted it and didn't even come. Well, you know right. Randy, I mean, if, if, he's not going to show up to about 9 or 10 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, he missed a trip. That's way too early. Yeah, I had three people asking for Randy. Did you? Yeah. Probably was watching Yellowstone. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. You can check out precisionplanting.com. They've got all the, the stuff that we talked about on the website. So check it out. I hope everybody's doing well, staying warm. Jesus loves you. Keep it in the field, Rose. We'll see you. Bye.